yeah. Hey guys, my name is She and I'm an antique dealer here in Virginia Beach. And today I wanted to give you guys a tour of my booth. I'm located inside of Barrett Street Antique Mall. If you've never been to Virginia Beach, it is a great place to visit. We're right here on the beach. So we have miles of beautiful beaches. There's lots of fun tourist things to do. Plus, you can head over to Barrett Street Antique Mall and check out tons of beautifully curated antiques and vintage. All right, guys, so here is my booth space. I've been a dealer here for two and a half years and my space has evolved greatly over that period of time. So I'll just walk you through today and just show you my setup. Um, and I guess we'll start here, right here in the middle. My decor style is Grand Millennial, so I like to choose antiques that borrow from like traditional decor styles like British Colonial, um, the new emerging Grand Millennial style. So it's just invoking like the spirit of tradition with a fun youthful flair so if you've seen any of the grand millennial stuff you know these little spaniel staffordshire dogs are a staple to that design style they look great styled on the mantelpiece i hope to find more so that i can build a nice little collection for my customers to choose from also the traditional blue and white china patterns are super super popular so i like to offer a selection of those plates as well a big part of like British Colonial, Grand Millennial. So this is actually a Tanzu cabinet. You see them a lot in Japanese and Korean culture. Um, this is an all wood cabinet that features like brass designs on it. Absolutely beautiful and in great condition. I also love classical Greek sculptures. So this is like a sculpture of a goddess um, and it's a reproduction, but nonetheless still really pretty. Um, and here you have a fantastic ginger jar lamp. So this is a little bit more modern, especially with the crystal finial, but it's super pretty. And then I like to keep a collection of brass candle stick holders. Sitting underneath all of that, we have this six drawer um, luggage style dresser. It's all wood, it has English dovetail joints, wood on wood glides. It's made by a company called Better Made. Um, Sorry, I have sunglasses on. By Balmain Cummings. Really beautiful piece. I mean, I could see this in an entryway. I could see this in like a kid's bedroom. Just a really unique piece that will really give your home that well travel look. So we have that available. And then right in front, we have this gorgeous um, Victorian era coffee table. Look at all those carved details inside. Anyone who knows me knows that I love flowers. Um, I also have an affinity for feet on furniture that look like feet. So this kind of reminded me of like little paws, um, but this is solid mahogany. And then this piece of marble on top is actually made in Italy and it has the made in Italy stamp on the bottom of it. So yeah, that is our center vignette. So I guess we'll work from left to right. Here we have a Victorian Eastlake buffet. This thing is over 120 years old. It is very solid and heavy, all original wood. It's just amazing how furniture back in the day was really built to last. Really built to last. Will really probably outlive us all. <laughs> but, and then on top of that, I just have some pictures. That's not ironstone, but it looks like it. And then lately, I've been loving to collect um, crystal glass. I just think it's beautiful. Goes well with mini decor styles. I love that this piece has the shelf on top. And I also love the fact that the mirror shows age with the silvering. So it's just beautiful. Over here, we have a vintage secretary. This is from the 40s. I actually upcycled it by using gold gilding wax to paint that front panel detail and the finial also painted the knobs and it has the cute little paw feet um and then inside of here i just have different decor items it's a little bit bare right now which is a good thing but every week i like to come into my shop and just move things around i'm currently trying to figure out what i'm gonna do with this back wall because this actually ended up being a bad idea i was supposed to get black flat paint it ended up being satin haven't had time to come back in and paint yet 
but over here it's just like a little moody moment uh, we have this beautiful oak buffet this statue of david is made out of some type of stone it is heavy it has to weigh at least 60 pounds uh, and i just have a collection of mirrors some are vintage this one is a Federalist um, wood hand-carved eagle mirror that's over 100 years old. Have this beautiful axis deer that everyone asked me about. I think everyone just loves the pearls on it. So I would love to actually find like another one and then put like a bow tie on that one and make them like a, you know, couple. Um, so yeah, that wall I usually keep mirrors on. We have this Victorian Eastlake chair with a king seat over 120 years old beautiful cane still in great condition and then we also have this plaster on wood mirror guys i also love oil paintings so i have a couple of different oil paintings in my booth right now um we have that one that one's called mount church and it has a certificate of authenticity at the back and this is a cute little floral of like ironstone and a pitcher well ironstone pitcher with flowers and it has that cool bamboo faux bamboo frame um and then this one is one of my other favorite oil paintings it's in this very unique ornate frame with velvet matting so it's super pretty um i also love lamps so we have this jasperware lamp uh wedgewood lamp so pretty it's just stunning perfect for grand millennial style i have these french brass lamps um and then i also have this gorgeous hollywood regency lamp with the green glass and the cast iron it's just so pretty um i like i said i love cut crystal so we have beautiful salt and pepper shakers hollywood regency candy dish gorgeous little cut crystal decanter um, this guy is one of my new favorites. It's an antique um, Dove Toby teapot. Super cute. I love how it has the feet on it. Very heavy. Um, and then I also love to collect brass. So we have these beautiful brass seashell bookends. Have two pairs of them right now. Um, this beautiful brass chinoiserie food dog incense burner this thing is so pretty i can't believe it's still here but it has these gorgeous little faces on the feet um and then i have these pawfoot brass candle holders these are pretty old they're over 100 years old as well um let's see i also have this typewriter guys from the 1930s so with this whole little setup, um, this is actually an antique buffet. It was in really bad condition, so I painted it. These days, I really haven't been trying to paint antiques, but if something is in bad condition, um, it's better to paint it than for it to go in a landfill. So all of the repairs were made. Um, it was missing some hardware, so I got these from Hobby Lobby. Aren't they beautiful? And we just painted the handles with gold gilding wax. And then I just have just a beautiful collection of things on that wall. I'll take you guys over here. This is one of my favorite finds. It's an antique theater row. I mean, how many guys have seen this before? This is all original wood. It does have some repairs um, that were made. When I found it, it was actually pretty chipped up. So all of this has been repaired and restained and the metal has been touched up a bit but everything is all original and this came from a theater that was built in the early 1900s so how cool is that i think today it probably could be used as a bench like in an entryway or a barbershop really cute in a mud room so yeah i that's my one of my favorite things that i found and i just have it on the back side of that center vignette all right so the last thing i'll show you guys is this cabinet the funny thing about this cabinet is that it was actually on the second story of a beach house down in sandbridge and who child i showed up by myself to pick it up and i know that the husband and wife were like 
a little um, upset with me for not having any help, but they were super sweet. They helped me get it down. This is like a triangular shaped corner cabinet. It has hand painted fruits all over. It's antique. I haven't been able to find out much information about it, but they said that the mother um, who was deceased actually purchased it in France. So it's old, it's super heavy and it has these beautiful fruits painted on all sides of it and that's pretty much all the information i know about it um and so on the shelves i just styled some home decor items that i thought would look nice but yes guys this is my booth i know i have not given you guys a tour in a minute and haven't things evolved quite a bit i'm even in a different space and with this space, I don't have many walls. So what I did was I actually took old doors. I got them for like $150 on Marketplace. And I put like um, L brackets and created doors, walls. <laughs> that way I could have, you know, my booth for like a complete space. So anyway, guys, I'm going to be changing the walls again here very soon. As you can see, I moved some things around that corner cabinet. Well, you guys don't know, but that corner cabinet used to be here, hence the gap. So there's a lot of things about the walls that I have to address, um, but I'll have to wait until next week because the weekends are usually a little bit too busy for that. So I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you saw anything in this video that you would like to purchase, I do have a website, antiquishomedecor.com. Most of the items are listed there. If there is something not on the website that you would like to buy, just leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to upload it for you and drop the link. And comment down below, um, do you like shopping at antique malls? And which one is your favorite? I love to hear about antique malls all across America because I'd love to travel soon and check some of them out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!